the next dance is the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. Now this is one of the longer dances we do. There are six parts to it, but none of them are difficult. And we hope to show that today. So we have a four couple set once again. Lizzie and Peter in the blue polo shirts will be top couple. They'll do the dance twice, then come to the bottom and a new couple will start. We start off holding hands and we walk into the middle. Stamp, 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 back we go, clap, clap, clap. And we then spin our partners once round or twice round. Just make sure you get back to your own side. So the next part of the dance is the figure of eight. But in this dance, it's a figure of eight with a difference because it's only the dancing couple that are actually walking in the shape of an eight. And they start off going behind those they're stood next to, as shown by these arrows. You'll see that it's nice and symmetrical. And it's a very full figure of eight as well because they come right round at the top before going right arms across for the next part of the dance. This is called teapots. And the thing to remember here is the man goes right arm across down the set and the lady goes right arm across up the set. And the way to remember that is to think of trousers which are traditionally worn lower down on the body and the skirt worn slightly higher up. So right arms across and you'll see then the dancing couple pass each other back to back in the middle and then it's left arms across in those new positions. So the dancing couple end up in the middle of the set back on their own sides ready for the next part of the dance which is turning their corners. And all that the dancing couple need to remember is that their first corner is on their right as they look across at their partner and their second corner is on their left as they look across at their partner. So let's look at this from the dancing lady's point of view. Here are her two corners, first to her right, second to her left. And her partner, his corners exactly the same, his first to his right, his second to his left. Just try and remember that golden rule that your first corner is always the one on your right. And let's now see how this part of the dance goes. So right arm to first corner, left arm in the middle to your partner, right arm to your second corner, left arm in the middle with your partner, back to your own side, and the dance finishes with a circle. And the circle is done by the three couples that have been involved so far. There's one couple who are missing out here, but they will become involved next time around. Looks good, let's see how it looks to music. <laughs> 